Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about um, return path rules that um, became available in the Allegro PCB designer with high-speed license in QIR5, which was a uh, Hotfix 31. So I've got some nets here, and I want to make sure that they're completely covered in planes, and I'm getting good, a good return path through the plane. Um, so if we go to Constraint Manager, uh, what we will notice now is there is there's now a return path option under the routing. Um, so there's a, a, a rule set area and an actual net based area. So we'll create a new rule. So let's just go here and create a new rule. An EC set, we're going to call this uh, return path. Uh, and then I'm going to specify the reference nets that I want the return path to be on. So it's going to be zero volts in this example. Um, what's the layers? Is it going to be a closest plane or a dual plane? In this example, I'm going to do closest plane. Now what can I ignore? What, what's an allowable amount to allow? So I'm just going to allow half a millimetre and I'm going to specify the the maximum pad gap length which is effectively an, any clearances in the plane from a, uh, a void for example of 0.6 of a millimetre for example. So if I then go to the net based areas I'm going to lo locate some nets. So the ones I'm interested in are effectively going to be you know BD0 to, uh, to BD6 as an example. So if we go back to Constraint Manager, we'll do BD0 to BD6, and I'll drag select those and apply my rule set to that. Um, so obviously you need to make sure that the rule is enabled, so Analyze, Analysis Modes, let's look at Electrical, there's the Return Path DRC, so we'll just hit Apply, and OK. Um, and you can see straight away I'm getting some DRC errors here, So it's, but it's actually going to tell me void crossing certain areas and stuff, so let's come back, and we can see I've got some DRCs here. Um, the rest of it, the nets actually look pretty good, so that's not too bad. So um, why am I getting DRC errors here? So um, we've got a couple of options. Obviously, I can turn the plane on and have a look, and that would obviously show me that I've got a void in my plane, so I'm not getting a good return path here. Um, but there's also something called the Vision Manager. So um, if we go to the Display menu now, sorry, the View menu, uh, there's something called Vision Manager, which um, comes up with a new window. Again, you can kind of take these and dock these in any of the locations. So I'm going to dock this over to the right. And then we'll go to something called Return Path DRC. Um, and I can set some colours here. So uh, maybe let's set green for what meets. And we'll set red for something that doesn't meet. Um, dim unselected nets would actually dim the rest of the design. As it would do if you're using the shadow mode option. Um, and I'm going to um, modify the selection and pick the nets that I'm interested in. These are the ones I'm inter interested in. And you can actually see now, most of the nets have gone green. So these will meet in the constraints that I've set but the instances of where it's not meeting is obviously highlighted in red and if we just bring up the ground plane again you can actually see that that then corresponds with the cutout in the void that I've got here so um, let's just make a modification to this so let's go into shape edit mode and we will do a slide uh, that segment just make it a little bit bigger you see that updates if I make that smaller that would obviously update again based on the settings that I have